Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm sorry it's been so long. I've been dealing with a lot of severe mental health issues and uh, things were getting better for a while and lately they got a lot worse. So I uh, ended up having to take another hiatus and uh, I really wish that that hadn't happened because figures are piling up on me again. Now I wanted to do a holiday special and I was kind of waiting because I have like three or four different Christmas themed figures on order. But unfortunately, only one of them showed up, and the other ones look like they're probably not going to show up until like end of January, early February, so we're not going to be seeing any more Christmas figure action for a while. So I decided to take the lemons and turn them into lemonade, because this is the only Christmas figure that showed up. And it is a SkyTube figure. For those who don't know, these are, not bump the camera, these are lewd cast-off figures, so I have to be careful about what I show on... YouTube here. If you're watching this video anywhere where people can see your screen, you might be uncomfortable about it. I want to just watch this video later because there's going to be a lot of skin shown. And um, I actually had to censor two of these figures. You can see the base of one of them right here. There's two figures right here. I actually had to put painter's tape on because uh, cast off means you can remove their clothes. These are always casted off. They don't, they don't even have covering that they come with. Um, we've actually got four figures though. One of them is kind of a grail. But I figure since we're doing a holiday special, we're going to start with the uh, Christmas figure. And yeah, sorry about the shadowing that's going on. Um, these are the first lewd figures that I've gotten. So I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like. From what I can see in the box, she looks really nice. She should be totally safe for YouTube the way that she comes out of the box. I just can't actually take off her clothes. Let's get rid of this box. So, let's see here. I'm going to double check real quick that you can't see anything that YouTube would disapprove of. No, it seems safe. Okay. Let's see here. She does have tape. Uh, where did I put my knife? Uh, of course, my knife isn't on my desk because I'm unprepared. Hang on. Give me one second. Get the knife. Sit down without knocking anything over. All right. There we go. I hope you guys had a much better holiday than I had. Um, don't know what you celebrate, if anything. I don't really celebrate holidays anymore, period. Um, I have a lot of history with Christmas that I don't want to get into. Um, I used to like it a lot, but it has very quickly become... Something that I just really don't even want to deal with. Uh, but I still like the the theming. I like the I like the Santa outfits, the Coca Cola red and white. If you guys don't know, that's that's where red and white came from. It's Coca Cola. Um, yeah, I still like a lot of the aesthetic, and that's why I do have some other Christmas themed figures on order. I was really hoping would show up in time for Christmas, but unfortunately. That does not appear to be the case. So here's her base. Her base is nice. Looks like a gift wrap present. Very fitting for the theme of the figure. Um, I forgot what this character's name is. I know it's called Gift of Holy Night, but she actually has a name. And unfortunately, I don't remember it offhand, so I'm going to have to put all that in the description. I want to be very careful with this so nothing falls off. <laughs> So, yeah, I can already tell the the skirt is cast off. Definitely has uh, some holes and pegs that aren't lined up properly, which is an issue that I've heard for a lot of cast off figures is uh, the clothing tends not to snap together the way that you need it to. Uh, she does have some bare arms in there. It'll focus. Some... Uh, I guess it's it's a combination of like bells and mistletoe. I don't know. That lewd insert lewd joke. Here's the actual figure. Let's get her on her base, and she does have a hat. Let's see how do you go on. Goes in this foot there, and that's it. And then how's the hat supposed to go on sideways like this? Ah, it is magnetic, so. Sign of some amount of quality is the hat is magnetic. I'm not too confident about this base though. <laughs> I'm worried that that might snap. So she uh, she may have some leaning issues. I may have to add a support or pin her or something. 
But the figure itself doesn't seem too bad. I think the problem here is just the base is a little bit flimsy. Um, but we'll see how she fares over time. I might be able to get her on it slightly better too. Let's see. I'll push her down further. She'd be more stable then. There we go. Yeah, just really got a jammer on there. It's a really nice figure. I like this one a lot. Um, personally, my taste in lewd figures is I want to have the boobs covered and I want to be able to just have the panties off. And this is one of those figures that you can do that with. So that is how I will be displaying her once she's off camera and I won't get banned for showing that. Um, but yes, the top comes off, the skirt comes off, the panties come off, um, and then she has bare arms that you can interchange with because the whole, it all comes off. So that is our first figure. Now we're going to move on to uh, two smaller figures before we get into the, the biggest one of this video. Um, but that would be the end of the Christmas. So if you're just here for Christmas and um, you don't want to see more lewd stuff, then go away. But if you do want to see more lewd stuff, here is one more lewd figure. I believe these next two are both from Native. To scooter back so she's on camera. See if I can get it to focus. I feel like I feel like things are out of focus right now, and I don't know why. There. Hopefully the focus hasn't been too bad. Uh, let me get her box here. It is this one. Yoshi Hotori has all of the information on it there. Um, I'm not sure what this box is supposed to be. It's got a very strange shape, and I actually have to. You have to slide the inner packaging out. It's like really tight in there. It was hard to stuff it back in. And uh, this is a separate piece here you put on the base, you attach her there. This is a separate piece underneath her and then the clipboard is a separate piece. Now she, I'm gonna give you a, a 360. She is always uncovered. So I had to put painter's tape over everything and hopefully it covers enough for YouTube. Um, but I think nudity is allowed if it's art and this is art. So this isn't full nudity, and this is art YouTube, so chill out. I know this is like borderline, but chill out. Um, I believe she's supposed to be like a teen captain, like a what, high school. Yes, I know, oh, problematic. You can be 18 in high school, dude, chill. It's a fictional character. Calm down. Go touch grass. Stop worrying about the ages of fictional characters, all right? Um, also, the uh, the whistle here is a separate piece. You have to remove her head and then put the whistle on. I don't really want to mess with this figure too much, though, um, because the painter's tape is not stuck on very tightly, and also there's a lot of loose pieces that I don't want falling. Moving on to the next one. She's even more unstable, so I have to be very, very careful. I believe she's actually supposed to be like a chemistry teacher, so despite the fact that she looks very young, I believe she's actually supposed to be a teacher. Um, she's censoring herself slightly with the test tube. Um, it does not do the job. It, it kind of works at a distance, so if you have her displayed on your desk, it kind of covers. Um, but no, it's all out. And you can see uh, I had to put some tape on her chest too. Main reason I like this is, first of all, the just the, the lab coat and then these little frog slippers, which are removable. Um, this one does not stay on that foot. That one's just supposed to be in your face. Uh, I'm not much of a foot guy, but I am a big sock and stockings and pantyhose guy. So I do appreciate the thigh highs. And the frog slippers are cute. This thing that she's on does not attach to the base, and she does not attach to the stool either. And it do, does have butt indents, and you can see the slippers come off really easily. Um, but I'm going to be really careful with her here. In fact, I'm not even going to do a full 360. I'm going to do... and keep her in frame? There we go. I'm going to do this kind of 360. Which, sorry for the shadow, but I really... <laughs> I don't want this thing to fall. I have to get some putty or something so that she can... stay on her base. Um, let's show off the box real quick before I move on to the next one. Uh, don't lean over. I actually really like the box. I'm going to show the inside to the inner packaging because... Um, it's very simple, very easy to open. Um, Suzuki Mar Margit. It's also a native. There's all the sculptor information. And then on the inside, I have to pull all this stuff out. Oh, 
Don't, don't want to show the picture. They come with the pictures of the or original illustration, which is uh, fully uncensored. I can't, can't be showing that on camera. Okay. There we go. It's got like this chalkboard with uh, a bunch of writing. I'm not sure what this is a reference to. Some of you might be able to figure out what this actually is. Uh, maybe there's a joke in there somewhere, I would guess. But I still, uh, I liked it that uh, they, they did a little bit of extra work on the inner packaging. It's always nice. And I like that it's just a simple box instead of being that weird trapezoid that I have to force the inner packaging out of. So, Native Figures, A+. plus. The, even the bases are like solid plastic. They're not like this flimsy one. Um, so, Native Figures, so far, 10 out of 10. Uh, this one, we're going to have to have see how the cast-off process is, so I'm going to have to revisit this subject next time I have lewd figures to open, because uh, these will be my first cast-off. Um, but we do have one more figure that I'm very excited about. This is actually a grail. Let's move her over, so hopefully we have enough room without knocking anything over. This one is big. This is very big. I might even need to adjust the camera to get this. But this is an Alice in Wonderland figure. That is actually a cast off. Um, I forgot who made this one. Does it say? Be very careful about not knocking anything over while I do this. Who made this one? I cannot tell. I mean, I see like TBC and stuff. Maybe it's just a brand that I don't know of. Maybe it's maybe it is just this TBC company or something. Um, but they call her Ma Ma Machino Alice, or Ma Machino, I don't know. Uh, this is another uh, figure that you can, like, just have the panties off, so very much appreciate that. I believe, I'm going to double check, I believe she does have her panties on, yes? Yes, okay. I can see panties. She's got extra tape. I noticed, uh... These boxes are more poorly taped than some of the other pre-owned figures that I've gotten. Um, and I'm kind of wondering if... They, they almost like they've been re-taped with scotch tape. I'm almost wondering if uh, a couple of them, like the native ones, actually got inspected. Uh, which is kind of embarrassing. I really hope customs didn't open my lewd, potentially problematic figures. Like, come on. <laughs> Out of all the stuff for them to open and inspect, it's that shit, really? It's all right. You guys are all going to see it anyways. But at least hopefully you guys have a little bit more understanding. This is about collecting figures of characters I like and I enjoy looking at. And... For the most part, it's not even a sexual thing. Even with these lewd characters, it's not like they, they necessarily... Like, I want to get off to them or something. It's not not really about that. It's just like... Sometimes you like to appreciate something a little bit more uh, risque. And I'm not like a strip club kind of guy. This is, this is my version. Like, going to a strip club is just... I want to go look at my lewd figures. Boy, she's heavy. This, okay, this figure is so heavy. It almost feels like a resin, but I think it's just because there's so much stuff going on here. This figure is nuts. I, I don't even have enough room around me to put this down to open it. Um, I'm going to have to move a bunch of stuff to get this out. This figure, though, is incredible. Like, I would highly recommend this one, even if you don't want any lewd cast-off figures, just forget that she's even a cast-off and just display her the way she comes out of the box, because this thing is awesome. I don't, I'm scared that the weight of this is going to crush the plastic as I'm trying to open it. It feels like it's just going to give out. Let's get this tape, and I'm going to move this over to the side and then carefully get this open. Uh, I hurt my back the other day, so it's not fun leaning over like that. Luckily, the snaps are cooperating. Let's be very careful about removing her. Um, looks like her head actually comes off, so I think I'm going to do that before I even pull the body out. There we go. Head comes off. Looks like... Yeah. Okay. Body is a separate piece. And obviously... 
top and bottom come off. Backpack's a separate piece. Uh, I'm not sure how you do this one, actually. Let me see if I can find the cast-off seam. Yeah, it looks like it's it's from the back, so it kind of loops around the back. There's a cast-off seam here, and I think it, yeah, it goes along the shoulder there, too. There's a cast-off seam that you can see. So it basically unwrap and remove outwards like that. But I'm going to be leaving the top on myself. Just going to be removing those panties. Obviously not in this video, though, because I can't do that. The highly against TOS. Her hand is a separate piece, I'm assuming just so it doesn't get broken. I'll cut that open in a second. Uh, she, man, there's so much packaging in here. I gotta, I gotta actually cut through some more tape. There's one of those interstitial plastic shield things. Let's see. Is that all the tape? No, that is not all the tape. There we go. Oh wow, there's, there's two shields. These are what I'm talking about, by the way. These They put these on the inside of the boxes to help support certain pieces. Okay, I think the base is all one piece. Yep, the base is all one piece. Let's get this plastic off so I can show it. Be careful, it wants to catch on all these pieces sticking out. Now the coup de gras, this massive base. Wow, look at this thing, that is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. So this is like mirrored gold. I'm not sure if the gold is coming off and I have to clean that because I already got my fingers on it, but it makes it kind of rainbowy when you get finger oil on it, <laughs> which is neat. But that's gold, you can sort of see there. And then there's a, a silver, one there, which I assume is actually going to help a lot with like backlighting the figure. So you get light directly on this and it'll actually shine light onto the figure, which is a really cool design. Um, and we got to figure out where these go. It looks like there's holes here. And I believe the way she was packaged, this leg was actually through this. So I think that's kind of maybe letting you know that that's, nope, does not appear. No, it looks like she just goes, it's supposed to be this way. Ah, it's supposed to be that way. Okay. So I think it goes through this way and goes into the base like this. Okay. There's that. And then, yeah, I can see why the hand is a separate piece because it actually needs to go in between this mirrored part and there. Let's get this open, see if we can get that on. Or if I have to remove her first. But I'm worried that that's going to just break off at the wrist. So I think you're meant to get it on after you put her in place. Let's be very careful about this. Let's see, is that the correct direction? Looks like it. Slide it on. There we go. Okay. And then we can get her head back on. Maybe. Let's see, how's her hair supposed to be? Yeah, her hair is supposed to be, I think, underneath here. Let's see if I can get this on all the way. Yeah, it looks like her head doesn't like to go on properly, which is interesting. Are we finding a flaw? Is this a major flaw? This otherwise amazing figure. Nah, just just gotta force it a little bit. That's all. I don't like the way this branch goes like directly against her hair though. And if there's a, I'll have to maybe use some heat and repose that slightly. I feel like I feel like her head is supposed to be turned more in the pictures that I've seen. I guess not. That's how it wants to go on. All right. Let's see, can I fix this light to get more light on her? Let's see what I can do here. Might be a little bit bright now, but... Let's see, just to get some more light on this figure in particular, because it is a very, very nice figure. Yeah, that looks... That looks exactly like the picture. You just gotta look at it from the right angle. That 
is it. I have no idea where I'm going to put this because I have no room for it, but it is an incredibly nice figure. Look at the way the, the cards are like stacked up. There's so much material. Look at these cards like sticking it. This is crazy. This is like solid too. This, that doesn't even feel hollow. No, that is solid plastic. All this is solid plastic. Let's see, there's actually like a flower going through it. Yeah, there's a flower coming through it. See there? It's just... I am absolutely in love with this figure. Look at, look at the colors on her thigh highs too. It's actually more apparent on the, uh, the video the way that I'm seeing it at least. I don't know if it's coming off on your screen, but it's almost got like a, a gradient to it instead of it just being solid colors. Okay, enough ogling. <laughs> this was supposed to be a Christmas special. This is my Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. Um, sorry that I had to take another really long break from filming, but right now I am sitting with my setup with everything stacked behind me, and we're just going to bang these out one after another, and hopefully I'm going to have content for the next, I don't know, month? <laughs> we'll see but uh if you stuck around thanks for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe let me know in the comments um your thoughts on any of these figures especially um the uh the two ones that aren't cast off and then this you know I, I just say if you like it pick it up because you can get it relatively cheap used and uh you don't have to display a cast off at all it looks great just the way that it is um and uh that's it Happy Holidays, uh, Happy New Year soon. I will be, I guess, maybe doing a, a New Year's video next? I, I don't know. I don't have a theme. I don't have anything that fits that theme. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'll see you, hopefully, see you in the next video anyways. And uh, that's all for now. Bye.